So for our last speaker, we have a member of the Rhode Island Anti-War Committee, William Smith III, who's going to speak to us about the work on getting the United States to sign on to the UN Treaty to ban nuclear weapons. And uh, he'll tell you more details, but the nuclear powers are steadfastly refusing to sign on to that agreement, which is really in the interests of peace and security in this world. William? Just push the button and get it close. Friends, deep down in our psyches, all of us are terrified of these weapons which is why we don't talk about them. We ignore them in our daily lives and we put them out of our minds. But the weapons are still there, hidden in the ground in the sea, ready to go off at any time. These weapons don't protect us, they threaten us. If you look on Wikipedia, there are at least 15 times known in the public record when nuclear war nearly happened brought on by accident, miscalculation, technical failure, miscommunication, an unstable leader, or an international crisis. And the weapons threaten not just us North Americans and Russians, but people all over the earth. A nuclear war would bring on a nuclear winter. Skies would darken and block sunlight. Plants would die and humans, insects, and animals would starve worldwide. To make matters worse, our government is ready in plans to make more of these terrible weapons and the delivery systems for them. Some of them right here in our little state of Rhode Island. Are the USA, Russia, and other nations going to hold nuclear weapons forever into the future? Impossible. Sooner or later, an unplanned disaster would overwhelm us. We as humans must find a way to dismantle them so that we can live without this fear and this menace. The answer to this dilemma has come not from the USA, but from people and countries all over the world. The non-nuclear nations of the world have negotiated a new treaty that makes it illegal to, to create or hold a nuclear weapon. This is the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons, which came into force as international law in January this year. Our government and our military leaders have ignored this treaty. I believe the U.S. They should sign it and ratify it and use it as a diplomatic lever to coerce Russia and the other nuclear nations to accede to it as well. The U.S. news media have also ignored the treaty. Aside from a short article buried in the New York, New York Times last January, there has been virtually no coverage of the treaty to ban nuclear weapons. Countries of the third world have done their job. They created the treaty. Now it's up to us, proud free citizens of the USA, to get our country to ratify it. Talk it up at the dinner table. Mention it to strangers on the bus. Ask your auto mechanic if he or she has heard about it. Make it a part of your daily messaging. We have these banners promoting the treaty. At any time, any place that you would like to see these banners displayed, give me a call and we'll display them in public to raise awareness of the TPNW Treaty. And a special note to all of you under 23, lots of you here today, most of us promoting this treaty have white hair and we're simpletons at using social media. For us, a telephone is attached to the wall and has a round dial that goes click, click, click. So put this treaty on your Facebook 
your TikTok, Instagram, your Twitter feeds, and help us get the message out by social media to all North Americans. This treaty exists, and it must be ratified. It might save your life.